Hello YouTube creators and subscribers, I just wanted to thank you all for tuning into my channel. Today I'm going to be speaking about Eridu, one of the oldest cities in the world. So let's begin. Eridu is an archaeological site in southern Mesopotamia, modern day Dai Kar government in Iraq. Eridu was long considered the earliest city in the southern Mesopotamia and is still today argued to be the oldest city in the world. Located 12 kilometers southwest of Ur, Eridu was the southernmost of the conglomeration of Sumerian cities that grew around temples almost in sight of one another. These buildings were made of mud brick and built on top of one another. With the temples growing upward and the village growing outward, a larger city was built. In Sumerian mythology, Eridu was originally the home of Inki later known by the Akkadians as Ea, who was considered to have founded the city. His temple was called E-Abzu, as Enki was believed to live in Abzu, an aquifer from which all life was believed to stem. History of Research The site at Tel Abu Shah Ryan near Bashra has been excavated four times. It was initially excavated by John George Taylor in 1855 AD, R. Campbell Bell Thompson in 1918 AD, and H. R. Hall in 1919 AD. Excavation there resumed from 1946 to 1947 under Fad Shafar and Shetan Lord of the Iraqi Decorate General of Antiques and Heritage. These archaeological investigations showed that according to upon him, eventually the entire self lapsed into stagnation, abandoning the political initiative to the rulers of the northern cities, probably as a result of increasing salinity produced by continuous irrigation, and the city was abandoned in 600 BC. Prominence. Iridu, also transliterated as Iridug, could mean mighty place or guidance place. In the Sumerian king list, Iridu is named as the city of the first kings. The king list continues. In Iridu, Alulim became king. He ruled for 28,800 years. Alangar, who ruled 36,000 years. Two kings, they ruled for 64,800 years. Then Eridu fell, and the kingship was taken by Bad Tebrar. The king list gave particularly long reigns to the kings who ruled before a great flood occurred, and shows how the center of power progressively moved from the south to the north of the country. Adipa, a man of Eridu, is depicted as an elder culture hero, identified with Uan, a half-human creature from the sea. He was considered to have brought civilization to the city during the time of King Alum Lim. In Sumerian mythology, Eridu was the home of the Abzu Temple of Inki, the Sumerian counterpart of the Akkadian Ea, the god of deep waters, wisdom, and magic. Like all the Sumerian and Babylonian gods, Inki, Ea, began as a local god who, according to the later cosmology, came to share the rule of the cosmos with Anu and Enlil. His kingdom was the sweet waters that lay below earth. The stories of Ayena of Uruk described how she had to go to Eridu in order to receive the gifts of civilization. At first, Inki of Eridu attempted to retrieve the sources of his power, but later willingly accepted that Uruk now was the center of the land. This seems to be a mystical reference to the transfer of power northward. Babylonian texts talk of a foundation of Eridu laid by Merduk as the first city, the holy city, the dwelling of their delights. In the courts of Assyria, special physicians trained in the ancient lore of Eridu far to the south, foretold the course of sickness from signs and portents on the
patient's body and offered the appropriate incantation and cure. History According to the Sumerian king list, Eridu was the first city in the world. The opening line reads, When the kingship from heaven was lowered, the kingship was in Eridu. In Sumerian mythology, it was said to be one of the five cities built before the deluge occurred. Eridu appears to be the earliest settlement in the region, founded 5400 BC, close to the Persian Gulf near the mouth of the Euphrates River. Because of the accumulation of silt at the shoreline over the millennia, the remains of Eridu are now some distant from the Gulf at Abu Sharain in Iraq. Excavation has shown that the city was founded on a virgin sand dune site with no previous occupation. P. Stein Keller was hypothesized that the earliest divinity at Eridu was a woman who later emerged as the earth Nin Her Shag, Nin as in lady, Her as in mountain, Sag as in sacred, with the later growth in Inki as a male divinity. According to Gwyn Doyle, like, Eridu was formed at the confluence of three separate ecosystems, supporting three distinct lifestyles that led by the Abdullah, Ab as in water, Dal as in great, Lu as in man, came to an agreement about access to fresh water in a desert environment. The oldest agrarian settlement seems to have been based upon intensive substance irrigation agriculture derived from the Samara culture to the north, characterized by the building of canals and mud brick buildings. The fish hunter cultures of Arabian littoral were responsible for extensive maidens along the Arabian shoreline and may have been the original Sumerians. They seem to have dwelt in reed huts. The third culture that contributed to the building of Eridu were the Semitic speaking nomadic herders of herds of sheep and goats living in tents in semi desert areas. All three cultures seem implicated in the earliest levels of the city. The urban settlement was centered on an impressive temple complex built of mud brick within a small depression that allowed water to accumulate. Kate Felden reports the earliest village settlements from around 5000 BC had grown into a substantial city of mud brick and reed houses by 2900 BC, covering 8 to 10 HA or 20 to 25 acres. Malawin writes that by the Ubed period it was as an unusually large city for an approximate area of 20 to 25 acres with a population of no less than 4,000 souls. Jacobson describes that Irmidu was for all practical purposes abandoned after the Ubed period, although it had recovered by early dynastic second period as there was a massive early dynastic second palace in each direction partially excavated there. Ruth Whitehouse called it a major early dynastic city. By 2050 BC the city had declined. There is little evidence of occupation after that date. 18 superimposed mud brick temples at the site underlie the unfinished ziggurat of Amar Sin, which was instated 2047 through 2039 BC. The finding of extensive deposits of fish bones associated with the early levels also shows a continuity of the Abzu cult associated later with Inki and EA. This apparent continuity of occupation and religious observance at Eridu provide convincing evidence for the indigenous origin of Sumerian civilization. Eridu was abandoned for long periods before it was finally deserted and allowed to fall into ruin in the 6th century BC. The encroachment of neighboring sand dunes and the rise of saline water table set early limits to its agriculture base 
So in its later Neon Babylonian development, Eridu was rebuilt as a purely temple site in honor of its earliest history. As always, thank you once again ladies and gentlemen for tuning into my video. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. And you have a good afternoon or evening.